I would say before the concert, make sure you're eating some healthy meals. Nothing with a lot of salt in it. Nothing with a lot of like fried foods, anything that's going to weigh you down. Um, definitely get your protein in and your healthy carbs like avocado, um, fruits and vegetables in there. Um, just anything to keep you uplifted in this heat along with hydration. Make sure you watch the caffeine intake before the day before the concert and I would say the morning too because caffeine hydrates you. I live off caffeine so but I know how you know you need to hydrate so I would definitely hydrate the day before in the morning before the concert during the concert and after the concert. Very good. Absolutely. And to stay cooler during the day of the concert, I would definitely recommend taking sunscreen, wearing sunscreen. It's a good opportunity to wear a stylish wide brim hat because <laughs> it's still going to be sunny when it starts. Um, I would also recommend wearing loose fitting cool clothing to stay cool and taking advantage of the cooling stations that will be available at the concert. Um, the other thing to just be aware of are the signs and symptoms of heat illness. So things like dizziness, confusion, nausea, very fast heart rate, or even passing out are all reasons to seek help at the medical tent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I actually have, I think, a top three. I'm just going to add a little bit um, to what Monica mentioned about eating and hydrating. So there's no alcohol allowed at the concert, but if students choose to drink alcohol before or after the concert, it's really important that they um, are hydrated well before they start drinking, during and after drinking. Um, in addition to the heat, alcohol is a dehydrant, um, our diuretic, and so it dehydrates you. And then protein. Protein is definitely the way to go. It will mitigate how quickly a person's BAC um, rises, which means that they can hopefully have a good time um, for a longer period of time rather than having the alcohol kind of go to that negative um, place of making them not feel well. Um, and then the other thing that I would add is if you do choose to drink, to drink very slowly, again, so that we can keep that BAC at a kind of low level where the fun is still being had and none of the negative stuff is happening. And make sure you have that safe ride home and a backup in case your, your ride changes for some reason. The other thing I want to talk about is the buddy system. So important to be able to stick with your friends. There's going to be a lot of people at the concert, and so you want to stick together. You want to make sure that you have a plan for how on um, keeping track of each other throughout the night, um, and so that you're all just having fun and getting home safe. And then finally, the last tip is um, what you can do in case somebody in our community is at risk. We really work, look out for each other here, and it's so important to make sure everyone is safe. Um, even if you don't know them, they're a part of our community. And so you can, um, the three Ds, you can be direct in a situation where a person is at risk if you're comfortable and if it's safe for you. Um, you can delegate to security, campus administrators, or just another person who may be more comfortable in that situation. Or you can cause a distraction just to de-escalate a situation and maybe remove the person um, who might be at risk of harm. And there's lots of reasons why you might do this. Um, someone might be being pushed around by the audience, or they could be being cornered and they might look like they're uncomfortable, or maybe they're too hot, or maybe they've drank too much. So there's a variety of ways that we can do this, and we really um, just all look out for each other here in the Blazer community. So stay safe and have fun. It's going to be amazing. Have fun, guys. Have fun. <laughs>